No one was hurt during the holdup. We're continuing to follow this. We'll bring you more details as soon as possible. News on 30 police are now investigating a page on Facebook that features pictures of some local females. It's because this page calls the young women, some of whom are minors, a slur that describes them as promiscuous. John Delano joins us live now with more. John. Well, we're not going to promote the name of a website that impugns and slanders young women and is now the subject of a criminal investigation. State police have just issued this report looking into whether this is a case of harassment or cyberbullying. But for the young women involved, this is much more than that. The borough of Rochester, Beaver County, seems an unlikely place for a Facebook page of such sleaziness. But Tuesday morning, a page was posted with pictures of local girls calling them the derogatory name of Ho. As soon as I woke up, it was all over. People were putting links to it. But it came up, like, really fast. Randy Zarella is a recent graduate of Rochester High School and knows many of the people whose pictures are posted and those who are commenting. Most of those people are from Rochester. Now, I don't understand why someone would want to put their, you know, their hometown out like that. Nobody knows for sure who is doing this, but Randy has her suspicions that it's some guys trying to get back at young women who may have rejected them. There's no doubt in my mind it was a bunch of guys. There was um, a comment on there that had said that it's five people, five guys that are making it. That are they're getting messages from different guys that are saying why these girls are hoes, what they have done. Some of them are extremely outrageous. For a short time, Randy's own picture was posted briefly until her husband stepped in. I flipped out. I, I knew who did it, you know, so I immediately contacted them and told them to take it down. And, you know, even though they did it just because they didn't like her, I was still upset about the fact because she doesn't have that reputation at all. The couple hopes Facebook pulls down the page soon and the authorities act against the perpetrators. All those girls are rights. They don't have any rights now. They've been exploited, exposed. Things have been made up about them. Things like this, you see it on the news and... The following up is a suicide case. Now, those who are victims of this may have a defamation case against the perpetrators once they are identified. Facebook has not returned calls on whether they will pull down the site, but those slandered sure want that to happen. Now, new at six, wearing my lawyer hat, I'll have more on the legal ramifications of posting this kind of stuff online. Live in the newsroom. I'm John Delano. Does raise questions. All right, thank you, John. A local man was doing court today on assault charges.